going to start off with a little leaf with three crystals and I'm going to do the same I think on the other side as well just like that after I get that on I'm just going to give it a little twist or two and then go to my next beading crystal Like that, I like that, it's pretty. I'm not going to wrap it just yet. After I get a few branches, I'll attach them to the hoop. And for now, I'm just going to bead. I'm going to try to stay in focus for you. I struggle. <laughs> I've looked at some of my work and been like, yeah, it's just not good. And then when I make a mistake, I just leave it there. I make them all the time. changed my mind right there. I think I want to put a little leaf there. Now you see the two Y's, just going to remind you, always start with the longest one to twist. I did cut them longer, I don't think I'll run into an issue, but just good to know. I did untwist it back one because I want to put a little leaf there and this is the longest wire. So I just put it back on to the side that I need it on. Just a warning, I am trying to record this with audio, but anything can happen. And if it does, then you'll hear it. Tell me what you like. I don't know if you want me to just work and oops, try not to do that and keep in focus or just work and put it to music later. Honestly, there's only a few videos that I actually listen to and one is an artist that has taught me a lot, an awful lot and I don't know that I can say the name of her channel but if you're watching this you know who you are 
And if I can mention, I'm going to ask her, actually, I think that's a good idea, if I can mention her channel because you will learn everything from this incredible woman. I've come to know her very well in her work. If I see, if I'm just scrolling and I see just a little, a short, I don't even have to look at the bottom of the screen because I know right away it's her. I don't need her voice, just her technique and her hands. Maybe someday I'll be as good as her. I like to put the little leaf in between sets. So this is one set. I'll put one here, here, and so forth and so on. sitting at this desk table thing in my bedroom. My cat is on the bed behind me. She's wondering, how are you talking to? <laughs> so if she becomes verbal, it's because I'm talking to myself. Kidding me? I'm really liking this uh, rose colored um, wire. I think it's so pretty. I've worked with it before, but not in the recent past. I have this container, this little rubber thing, so it doesn't slide, but also because I drop the beads everywhere. And it's not, it doesn't look great, but sorry, <laughs> it has to stay. Okay, after this section right here, these two wires, I'm gonna, I'm going, I think I'm just gonna attach them to my hoop. I have a pretty, uh, pretty good idea of what I'm doing now. Usually I have to wait and see because it doesn't come planned. It just happens. I wasn't going to do it this way with the twisting in between each crystal and bead. I was thinking about just stringing them. But I kind of think that's pretty. I was thinking about doing it like this. Because I really like that too. But I chose to do it this way. You've used my uh, my uh, my idea on how to beat a tree, or if you've never made one and you've made your first one after watching my video, let me know how it turned out. I'd love to hear from you. I do read my emails if you want to email me, and I do read the comments.
That didn't take long. That's my bowl. So I cut this wire at 16 inches, and as you can see, because I, I do wrap it around twice, I probably should only do it once on this project, but I did make it. Um, I didn't waste too much wire. 14 inches with these little leaps would not have worked. So I did a video before this one to show them the basics on how I cut my wire. And this one here, as you can see, 14 inches just, I am not in focus yet, 14 inches wouldn't have worked. Oh, definitely. Okay, well, I'm not going to wrap those right now, but that, oh, that's so pretty. I'm just going to move right along. And this is my next section. I'll start with three little beads. Slide them up a little bit. I'll bring the wire right into that space there and twist. And support your work. I have all different size uh, crystals mixed in here. I like to mix them up a little bit, but I also try to use a small crystal if I'm using a larger bead so you don't have so much wire showing through. Oh, that worked out nice. I have the long wire close to me because I'm going to put a little leaf right here in my envelope. Can you see what I'm doing? I have beads all over this mat. <laughs>
gonna try and get a little leaf right here. A little short on wire. I'll use a little bead in the center of the three. I can get it on the, there we go. That was close. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'm only gonna wrap it once with that little wire. Because that's all I can do. We'll make it work. There. I'm gonna check this. Message. <laughs> My husband is at work, <clears throat> excuse me, and I text him and I said, I'm recording. Never heard back. He just now texted me and said, Oh, okay. Thanks. I'm going to try, <clears throat> excuse me, to get the entire um, recording in one. If this thing shuts off, then I'm just going to have to make this part one. It's such a nuisance that I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to edit it. I just don't know how. <laughs> I've tried. That's okay if you like to watch and you don't mind it. I'm just doing what I love. Why not share, right? Now see I have a lot longer wire on this one than I did on that one. That works. Isn't that pretty? My goodness, I like that. You know, if I didn't have two cats, I would have these pretty little sun catches in every window. I haven't done a tutorial for the Four Seasons I've mentioned before. That is my favorite. But I have so many of them made. <clears throat> 
Uh, I did do just that's not a three inch hoop. Um, it's pretty basic. Every one is the same. And um, yeah, I've got about <laughs> 25. Oops, sorry. And I have two that I did in the four inch hoops. And they're there. No, five inch hoops. And one in a four inch hoop. And they're so beautiful. I put it on a short if you want to look at that. Those are like my favorite. You know, just for me just starting um, just making videos, I mean, I watch YouTube all the time, um, and I follow a lot of people, but just to think that I just started and people are actually looking at my videos, well, I'm not that great. I'm not good at tutorials and talking and teaching, I just, so I look at it as sharing what I do, but thank you. I appreciate that you've subscribed and that you give me a thumbs up. It's very encouraging. Someone that's new, I'm just starting. And um, yeah, I really got busy with the trees at the height of the pandemic because um, I was just so <laughs> tired of it, not investing my time into something other than just making things and just hanging, you know, hanging on to them in a tote. Um, so I started making the trees of life in a hoop and giving them as Christmas gifts. And my husband actually takes them to his job and he, yeah, last year he sold quite a few. And I was absolutely flattered that people liked my stuff. And I think I've gotten better since then. I've try different techniques. So I feel like I'm just putting all this out there. Just put it all out. Why not, right? You're following me. If you don't like it when I talk, tell me and I won't talk. Or I will talk. I just won't talk about nothing. I just get like looking for something to say. Here is the halfway point. Isn't that nice? Look at that. So pretty. If you haven't noticed, I like things that sparkle and shine. crystals. It's okay. Oops.
I started shaping this tree. Usually I wait, but I wanted it to be different in that it's not a straight up and down trunk like most of my work. I can go down the line and just give every one of them a little twist. I don't know if you saw in the video how I do that, and I'll show you. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just like it. So the way I do this, I do actually use my finger a lot. But these, they're like plastic or silicone, um, like a plier. These are the best things in the whole world for me. Because sometimes if it doesn't look neat on your trunk, just gently, not even really squeezing, just do this. Pull it in the direction that you twisted, and it tightens it up really nice. And if you want to change your tree and put a little curve in there, hold on to it, and just give it a little bend. That one's not going to really... Yeah, there we go. And that not only tightened it up, let me change the look. We'll see if I don't break this wire. I'm not going to mess with that right now. But that's how you do it. Just gonna share a little information that you probably don't even want to hear, but I have the greatest team of surgeons and physical therapists. I've had many, many surgeries on my hands and lots and lots of physical therapy. And um, my physical therapist who has got me through all of them has kept in touch with me and I've made her uh, several trees and she actually has come to the house just to buy some more um, but I give them you know I just you know, I, I can't take her money but I mean I do take her money I can't say I don't take her money I just charge her just like the, what it cost me to make which is really not that much well it does get expensive but just grateful that I can do what I do. So if every now and then you see a little jitter in my hands, that's why. I had a tremble in my right hand that was terrible, terrible, terrible. And I thought, and my doctors thought that it was nerve damage and it would be permanent. So I'm more than blessed that it wasn't. And that was for carpal tunnel. I had three procedures done in the same day. Uh, carpal tunnel. I had a trigger release right here because my finger stayed like that and then here I had that trapeziotomy with the tightrope so they took out this bone and then connected it to a button up in my hand and um, yeah that's where the tremble came from. It was just awful. took me a long time to be able to do this again and now I'm back now I'm ca carrying on about things you don't want to hear and I think I might just put this to music
I'm actually very shy. This is just my personality because I'm alone. And I don't know what to say, so... If you want me to shut up, just say, shut up. <laughs> just stick to teaching. Just showing you how I do stuff. I can do that. I'm gonna, um, if I don't get it, there we go. I was gonna say I'm gonna skip that for now. But I got it. I'm gonna just turn that so I don't get stuck on it. There we go. It doesn't look bad. How pretty is that? It's nice and tight, too. Now this is done with a 22 uh, gauge wire. If I did it with a 24, this would be really flimsy. I was going to put on an extra bead and crystal, but I looked right here. There's a space. I think I'm going to put a little leaf there. Yeah, definitely. Because if I put a bead and a crystal, yeah, I'll put a leaf. Sometimes if I have a big space, I make the, the triangle further away from the the, the middle so that it'll be longer and fill in that space which I'm going to need right now. So I'm going to slide my three beads and then put them right here. Like down here I kept it really close. Now here I'm going to pull it out a little bit because I want it to fill this space right here. So I'm just push that up. See I have more space here so I can get a few more twists in than one or two. Don't break. There we go. Oops. Not quite. Alright, it's gonna break. I should have done my. I should have bent it into my triangle first. I didn't. That was close. Oh, I break them all the time. Let's get a hold on to your work. I haven't broken one um, when I was videoing. If that happens, I will post what I have done, and I will post the broken up to the broken point, and you will be able to see it. And then I'll be done. Well, time for a break. In case you don't know, um, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, there's more uh, some personal stuff in there too, like my cats. Um, but I do post like stuff that you don't see here because I've been doing that for a while and it's just kind of like for fun. Oh, my shop is also there. I don't know how to list stuff here. Like for merch or if you want to buy what you see me make so you can use it as a guide. I don't know how to do that. So, I'm not a good salesperson and I don't know how to, I, I just don't know how to do it. It's not that I don't want to 
learn that. I should have had a little leaf right there. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can. Do I want to try? Yeah. I don't know. We'll keep that option open. I might go back and untwist it, but I don't want to risk breaking it. I'm too close. We're almost done here. Look at that. 37 minutes and you could have a potential beautiful little gift for a teacher. This would be a pretty little um, shower for a little girl. If I could hang it in my window, I would. <laughs> So I always put a little chain for hanging and a little suction cup because they look great in the window. I can promise you that photos do it no justice. They sparkle so pretty. So I'm looking down at my work. And I think right after this, I'm going to have to put a little leaf up here. Definitely. I'll show you what I mean. I need to fill this space because that doesn't look good. And this is my longer wire, so I'm going to bring it over right there. what I didn't do last time. I didn't give it a little squish. I just did it and I did not have a triangle. And it almost didn't work out for me. I almost broke it. Still doesn't look great, but we're going to leave it because we're not going to break it. looking up to see if I'm in the middle of the screen and I am in the middle of the recording. Um, I have my, I'm recording with an old phone actually. Like I said, I'm, I'm just starting out um, and I have it going horizontal and it sh I, I would think that it should be a full screen but I notice on some of my videos it's not. Now if I hold it up and down and view it back, then it's a small um, area with the black on the sides and not full screen. But it should be full screen when it's the way I'm, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If you know what I'm doing wrong and if you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments so I can try and fix it. I've tried recording and, and testing it and I just just don't get it. So, oops, and that's not what I want to do. Yeah, wow. Guys, this went by fast. We need a little leaf. This is the last one. Yay. Now you've tolerated me talking unless you put me on mute, which is cool. Because I don't know if I'm going to use the voice for 40 minutes or so. Another one down there. And if you are still here, thank you for watching my my video. I had a lot of fun. And I think this came out really pretty. I get excited on this last wire. I want to get it all in before this thing shuts off. It's not on a timer. But my son said it does that it goes to sleep so, so I've tried to start overthinking that oh it's just gonna pick up right now it doesn't it becomes part two 
And three. Getting all excited, it didn't shut off yet. That we made it without having to make part two. Isn't that fierce? Look at that. Oh my goodness, I just like it a lot. I don't always like everything that I make. Sometimes I look and go, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? And that's when you start snipping little wires to save your beads. Yes, I have a... I'm going to make a video and show you. We have it's like a breakfast um, it's like a tray with legs and it's full I mean full with crystals and beads and sometimes I just work right out of that and make the little uh, three inch sun catches how pretty is this what do you think let me know oh, we haven't shut off yet so I'm just gonna continue on I did shape it a little bit but now I'm just going to shave it some more. I hope I don't break a wire because I've already bent it. How pretty. My goodness, I like it a lot. Which one do you like, guys? This one? The one we just made? Or the one that I made yesterday? Which one do you like the best? I like the rose gold crystals on this. And I do like the pink, the rose quartz on that one. The shape of the tree. Okay, enough talking. Let's clip. nice okay I'm gonna show you how I show it all the time but I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna for someone that doesn't know I don't like the needle nose flies I like to use these tweezers for this I do it with the flat ones first because I can push them down like this I don't like to leave it just wrapped because it catches it catches on my skin it'll no, no I just don't like it 
I like it to be finished. So after I do that, I come back with these pointy tweezers and then I just give it a little squish so that the wire is finished on both sides. You're not going to get stuck on that. The other thing I've mentioned, but I don't think I've actually, I may have actually done it on a video, the lacing. Um, I do that because I don't want them to, I don't want my branches to slide. So when I'm all done doing this, I'll, I'll take a piece of wire and I'll wrap it around the, the hoop to start and just wrap it under and over and then cross over the, the wire, go under and over, cross over and then it just kind of holds it like this. Oh, I didn't do that one. Okay, I did this one. If you can see this, this one here, they won't slide. They stay just the way that I, I put them in place. I did it on this one too, see? They don't, they don't separate as easy. You can shape it, but they're not gonna fall and have a big space. So what do you think about merch? Like, I know a lot of channels, they have merch. And one particular channel that I watch, it's not about beating. Um, it's, it's, it's a girl, and it's a family, and she does uh, watercolor um, paintings. Small little, you know, it's just, it helps her. Now, I'm wondering, could I do that here? And would you be interested? I posted the, pro the, the project that I made, if you would be interested in purchasing it, or if you know somebody that would, or is that not allowed? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Yes, I'm completely uneducated. And for the people that have sent me, um, emails thank you so far I've been lucky I haven't got any um, not nice words I read comments on other people's channels and say ah shut up don't talk so much and oh that's ugly would you do that for <laughs> my thing is this this is your tree if you're gonna make one you do you make it how you like it there's no rule. Just have fun. You need to. You have to love what you do. And if you love doing it, then you'll make something beautiful. If you don't like it, it's not going to work for you. I find this just, just like when I'm stressed. I find it very soothing and calming. And don't give me this now. This little one right here. There. the one that gave me grief. <laughs> so what I have left after this is I'm going to lace it, then I will put a pendant on the bottom and a chain on the top and my project will be completed.
there. Remove this. What do you think? Is it a thumbs up? Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about that. We'll see you soon.